Hey there, welcome to Ask a Pastor. Today's question is, if God already knows what I'm going to say, then why should I pray? In my job as a pastor, I, I do get to talk to people about their prayer life sometimes. Uh, people who pray, I will ask them, how, how is it going? How does prayer feel to you? And many people express a sense of inadequacy or insecurity around prayer. It's difficult. And one of the things that makes it difficult is we wonder if God is listening to us. And if God is there and God is who we say God is and knows everything already, then why would I bother praying? Why doesn't God just give me what I want? Well, part of the problem is that we tend to see prayer as a problem-solving technology. In other words, we think that prayer is going to get us some kind of outcome. We want answers to our prayers. But prayer isn't just about communication with God. If that was all it was, then we wouldn't need to pray. God already knows what we're going to say. So why would we communicate? Are we going to teach God something? The point of prayer isn't just communication, it's also connection. This is a common issue in relationships. If you think about a marriage, for example, yes, of course, communication is so important, but sometimes we overplay that. One of the main things is connection. Many people in their marriages know enough about their spouse to know what they're asking, to know what they want, to know what makes them happy. What most couples actually struggle with is connection, intimacy. So imagine if my whole relationship was just about communication, then once I knew what she wanted and I, I did what she wanted, I would check that box and we would be okay. But what we also need is quality time together. We need to also spend time just learning each other again and being connected. That's actually what's at the heart of prayer in the Christian tradition. As a Christian, I'm not just to pray because I want something from God or because I need to tell God something that God doesn't know. I pray because I want to be connected to God. I want to spend that quality time with God. And there's not always a thing to show for it. There's not always a so-called answer to prayer. I don't always get what I ask for. But in that time, I can sometimes feel the presence of God. I can connect with God. And that's why we pray. That's why Christians pray. To connect with God. To find communion with God. To be intimate. Because from a Christian perspective, God is not just an idea. God is actually a person. And that person, God, wants to be in relationship with us. So that won't necessarily make prayer easier. Again, we have a lot uh, against us in a kind of, you know, the way we think. Uh, I, I struggle with prayer all the time because prayer is complicated. It's difficult. And I am sometimes struck by doubt and confusion and frustration and why doesn't God just do what I want or why doesn't God answer my prayer? But often my best moments of prayer are not the times that I have answers to my prayers. And that does happen sometimes, but the best moments are the moments when I find myself at peace, just connected with God. As a pastor, I hope this gives you some perspective about uh, how Christians, how I at least would uh, think about this question. If you would like to submit a question to our website at www.fccremona.org slash askapastor, you can leave an anonymous question there. So thank you for being with us today, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.